Hi people, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the most important British postmodern playwrights and their plays which are important from net point of view. The first most important uh, postmodern playwright is Newell Coward. Newell Coward has written so many important plays. He is also important because he acted in G.B. Shaw's Apple Cart. Also, at the same time, we must remember that he participated in World War I. So, he has witnessed the devastation and the destruction by his own naked eyes. His most important play is Bleethe Spirit. The title Bleethe Spirit has been taken from Shelley's To the Skylark. Also, you must remember that this play Bleethe Spirit is about a novelist Charles. This novelist Charles is uh, about to write a play, uh, about to write a work on ghosts. So he invites Madame Arcati, who is a lady who can communicate with ghosts. He invites Madame Arcati to his house and while they are having dinner, Madame Arcati unknowingly invites two ghosts, Ruth and Elvira the two wives of Charles okay these two wives were dead and he in she invites the ghost of both these wives into the house of Charles and this creates a kind of havoc in Charles life uh, other than that present laughter is another play written by Newell Coward the play is important because the title has been taken from Shakespeare's Twelfth Night so at least if you're not reading the other works by Newell Coward do go and read Be The Spirit Let's move to the second most important British playwright. Uh, second most important postmodern playwright is Christopher Fry. Christopher Fry has written several works, out of which Lady Not For Burning is very important. The story of uh, Lady Not For Burning is set in Middle Ages, a period from 1100 to 1480. Uh, the story basically talks about the destruction of uh, world destruction caused by World War First, and uh, basically deals with the life of a soldier who wants to die. And on the opposition, we have a witch in the same play, and that witch wants to live. So on one hand, we have a war weary soldier who wants to die. On the other hand, we have a witch who wants to uh, continue to live. The um, uh, another important play by Christopher Fry is Dark is Light Enough. And the subtitle is very important. It is called Winter Comedy. The third important play by Christopher Fry is Venus Observed. You don't need to read the summaries of these plays, but at least remember the title of the plays because these titles have been frequently asked in net exam. Now let's look at one of the most important British postmodern playwright, and his name is Harold Pinter. Harold Pinter has written so many plays and all his plays are based on the concept of significance of silence. Pinter pause, Pinter rescue, these are some terms which are added in the literary glossary because uh, these terms denote the technique used by Harold Pinter. We also uh, should remember two important things about Pinter. Number one, he has written the screenplay of John Fowle's French Lieutenant Woman and number two, he acted in Samuel Beckett's play Crap's Last Tale. These two things were asked in net exam, so you must keep a note of these two things if you are reading Harold Pinter for a UGC net exam. Now let's look at the important plays. He has written so many plays. First of all, you must remember the chronological order in which his plays were written because this is being asked in net exam several times. This is one of the most frequent questions in net. Uh, now let's look at the three important plays that you must study in detail if you're preparing for UGC net. The first important play is Homecoming. And what is important about this play is that you must remember the occupation of all the key uh, characters. So uh, we have Sam, Max, Ruth. So you must remember the occupation of all these people because this has been asked in net several times. The second and most important play by Harold Pinter is Caretaker. Caretaker is also important because of several reasons, because it shows the agony and the destruction caused by uh, World War II and the after effects of World War II. Uh, there's a character uh, caretaker in this play and there was a question in net exam wherein they asked that the character caretaker takes the name okay, of what is his real name and the uh, answer is Bernard Jenkins. So remember and keep a note of this thing. The third important play by Harold Pinter is Birthday Party. 
बर्थडे पार्टी पे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन अभी तक आ चुके हैं सम ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट दी टू गेस्ट हु विजिट द बर्थडे पार्टी एंड द नेम ऑफ दो गेस्ट इज मैकैन एंड गोल्डबर्ग ऑल्सो देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट वॉट इज द गिफ्ट दैट स्टैनली गिव्स टू ड्यूरिंग द बर्थडे पार्टी एंड द आंसर इज दैट ही गिफ्ट अ ड्रम so such kind of questions have been asked from Harold Pinter so whenever you're reading Pinter's play from net point of view do make a note of all the minute details because uh, they give questions from the uh, most important acts and scenes but at the same time they also give questions from themes symbols as well as characters so you need to make note of each and everything if you're not uh, interested to get into the details of the play and make those lengthy notes then you can subscribe to my online classes because i teach each and every work in detail telling the entire summary all the important points all the important questions which have been asked on that work in the previous year papers so i cover everything you can visit my website www.arpatakarva.com you will find a list of all important writers that we cover in our online course even if you're not joining our online course do make a note of those writers and start preparing your notes accordingly let's now jump to a very very important british postmodern playwright named samuel beckett samuel beckett is important because of several reasons out of which one reason is that he uh, had a friendship with james joyce and he helped james joyce while james joyce was writing finnegans wake other than that he is uh, known for his major work which is waiting for godot waiting for godot subtitle is a tragic comedy in two acts uh, you must also remember that waiting for godot was originally written in french and it was later translated into english uh, the characters symbols the importance of godot the importance of uh, nothingness is very important uh, other than that he has also written a trilogy uh, of novels namely uh, molly malone dies and unnameable you don't need to read the novels for ugc net exam point of view but at least remember the sequence and the names of these three novels which comes under the trilogy of novels written by samuel beckett now let's look at two important british postmodern playwrights who have strong connection with william shakespeare and his work in this series the first important playwright is tom stupert tom stupert has written the screenplay of a very very important shakespearean movie called shakespeare in love this movie is a must watch for all the shakespeare fans and if you too are a shakespeare fan then go and watch this movie Uh, other than the writing the screenplay of Shakespeare in Love he has also written several plays out of which Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead this is a very important play uh, it takes the characters from Hamlet and the story revolves around these two characters the second important play is Trevestries Trevestries is a play which is set during the World War first time and the uh, central character Henry Carr he interacts with James Joyce when James Joyce is writing Ulysses so there's a close uh, link between James Joyce Ulysses and Trevestries the third important play is Real Inspector Hound and there was a question in net exam wherein they asked that which of the plays by Tom Stupert employs a play within a play and the name of the play was Real Inspector Hound so you must remember this thing The fourth important work by Tom Stupert is Indian Ink. Indian Ink is a work which uh, talks about which is actually a reworking of E.M. Forster's Passage to India and it talks about the same theme in the same uh, storyline. Other than Tom Stupert, another important postmodern British playwright who is very influenced by William Shakespeare is Edward Bond. Edward Bond saw macbeth at the age 13 and was highly influenced by this work and later in his life he wrote plays about shakespeare's play he has written these two important play lear which is a retelling of king lear by william shakespeare and second important play is bingo which employs shakespearean characters on the modern stage the next important british postmodern writer is John Osborne John Osborne is remarkably known for his play Look Back in Anger Look Back in Anger is a play which falls under the Angry Young Man Theatre Angry Young Man Theatre was a literary movement wherein the playwrights were depicting the frustration and agony of uh, the post world war Britain and how the middle class life has devastated and uh, the challenges and problems faced by middle class people 
The same theme has been taken up in Look Back in Anger. The central character Jimmy Porter uh, shows his agony and frustration when he's dealing with his wife Alison. The game of Beer and Squirrel that the couple plays is very significant from Ned's point of view. Other than that, you must remember the, the frustration of Jimmy Porter comes from the fact that the two world wars have devastated the um, uh, British economy and America has risen as a new superpower. And this feeling of frustration and guilt was haunting uh, Jimmy Porter and he was, uh, you know, thinking about the past glory of British society. The next important playwright in the same uh, series is Arnold Wesker. Arnold Wesker is known for a trilogy of plays that he wrote. The name of the trilogy is Wesker Trilogy and it has three plays in it. Namely, uh, I'm talking about Jerusalem, Roots and Chicken Soup with Barley. Before ending the video, let's talk about two minor British playwrights of the postmodern period. And the name of those playwrights are Alan Bennett and Carl Churchill. Alan Bennett has written this wonderful play called Kafka's Dick which talks about the nature of fame and the story revolves around uh, a husband and wife who interact with uh, Franz Kafka. Another important playwright is Carl Churchill who has written this beautiful play called Serious Money. Serious Money is a play which deals with the problems of British economy and it talks about how money is the only driving factor uh, in the stock market. So this is it about the postmodern period. If you want to study all the postmodern writers and all the important postmodern works in detail, then you can join my online course wherein I'll be providing audio lectures in which I'll be uh, discussing each and every writer and will be summarizing each and every important work. Uh, I'll also take care that I give you all the important points which are uh, relevant from NET point of view so that you can prepare for NET in a new and revolutionary way. So we'll meet next week with another important video. Before you close the window, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I post a GoNet quiz every day uh, which will help you to keep yourself updated with the what kind of questions asked in UGC NET exam. All the links of the social media platform is given in the description box below. You can also give a call on the number displayed below and uh, know more about the online course that we are giving. You can go to my website www.arpatakarva.com. We have uploaded a list of 700 important writers uh, which you must to read if you are prepared preparing for UGC NET English exam. You can check the list of writer. If you like the list, you can subscribe to my course because we uh, take each and every writer and we give you detailed audios on each and every writer. Other than that, you can also download the previous year's solved papers from my website. We have uploaded paper 1, 2 and 3. So you can download those papers and start your preparation in a very, very efficient manner. So till the time we meet next, bye-bye, happy learning and keep loving literature.